Well, we really have a uh, door, doorway of opportunity that's open to us because we now have access to patient tissue directly in collaboration with our colleagues who are uh, doing surgery and other clinical work at Montefiore. This is really valuable material. It's providing us, for example, when we're studying metastatic disease to the liver, cancer that spread to the liver. It's providing us with tissue uh, when they do a resection that has the disease and they also take out some tissue next door to it that is normal. And we, for the first time, at least in our labs, can uh, compare these tissues and start deciphering what the differences might be that are causing such uh, often fatal uh, problems. Well, we're hoping that uh, <clears throat> down the line will develop new insights into causes of disease and uh, potentially then treatments of disease. So we're hopeful, this is a start, we're at the beginning, uh, and hopefully over the course of time, the new insights will provide exciting new avenues of both investigation and treatment options. We can't guarantee we're gonna find a marker for liver cancer, but this is a really important uh, undertaking. As uh, we keep thinking, this is looking for a needle in a haystack. We're looking for a minute trace of a protein that might not ordinarily be there and to be found in patients who have early stage liver cancer, primary liver cancer. If we can catch liver cancer early in its course, we can cure it. Our surgeons can resect it. We can offer patients liver transplantation. Uh, and it's uh, difficult to diagnose primary liver cancer in its early stages right now. One has to use frequent radiological means, uh, MRIs, uh, ultrasounds. If we had a blood test, that would make life so much easier for patients, would make the screening so much more efficient.